So the last time we worked on um, number base, it was addition. So this time I want to work on subtraction. Now I'm just going to explain one principle using base 10. If we have to subtract um, 9 from 25 in base 10, what we normally do is we put in the 25, and put in the 9, we subtract, and then we say, okay, 5 minus 9. We say it cannot go. So we have to borrow from 2. Whatever we're borrowing from 2, we say we add it to 5. But take note of what we're borrowing from 2. We're borrowing 10 from 2 and not just 1 because we're working in base 10. So when we add 10 to 5, that means this becomes 15. And then this becomes 1. So 15 minus 9 will give you 6 and then you can bring down your 1. So we normally know how to do this in normal arithmetic. So the answer is 16. But what about in other bases? So let's say we have 1, um, let's say 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1. Now this is in base 2. Okay. So if we make it bigger, we have 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, base 2. So whatever you're borrowing, if you get stuck, has to be in that base. So this is 0 minus 1. We know that cannot work. So we have to borrow from this guy here, this one here. And whatever he gives to him is base 2 number. So he has to give him 2, which is the base. So it gives him 2 um, or 1, 0. 1, 0 is the same thing as 2. So this one now becomes 1, 0. He has given this guy 2. Now, or 1, 0. Now, 2 minus 1 is what? It's 1. Okay. Now we have 0 up here. 0 cannot subtract 1. So he has to also borrow. So borrowing from 1 here, this one becomes 0. And then this one now becomes what? This one here now becomes 2. So 2 minus 1 is what? 1. Now why I'm using 2 is just to make it easier. You can also say that 1, 0. What is borrowing is 1, 0 base 2. Because um, 2 is the same thing as 1, 0 in base 2. So, but the idea is that whatever your boring is, that base, and the base is 2. So, that's why I'm putting 2 up there. So, you see the answer is what? 1, 1, base 2. You can also check it um, by adding 1, 1 to 1, 1 in base 2. And let's see. 1 plus 1 is what? It's 10. Oh, sorry, it's 1, 0 in base 2. So, you put on 0. You carry 1. And what is 1 plus 1 plus 1 in base 2? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, but in base 2, if we divide it, we'll see that this is 1 remainder 1, this 2, 0 remainder 1. If we take it up, the answer is 1, 1, base 2. So 3 in base 2 is 1, 1. And that is exactly this. Okay? Now let's work on another base 2 question. We have 1, 0, 0, base 2, subtract 1, 1, base 2. Would you be able to try this out? If you can, you can just pause the video and work on it. Hopefully you tried it. Let's see what happens. This is 1, 0, 0, base 2. Subtracting 1, 1, base 2. Now this is 0, and it cannot subtract 1. So it borrows from 0, but 0 does not have, so 0 borrows from 1, and remember that Whatever is boring is the base, and the base is 2. So this one becomes 0, and gives to him 2. Now he has to give to this guy. So whatever he gives to him also has to be 2. So this one now becomes 1, and this one gives him 2. I remember that the 2 are writing here is 1, 0. So when he gives this other guy a value, um, his own becomes 1 um, there. So... Now we have um, 1, 0, or 2 um, for this 0 here. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Remember this one has 1 now after all the boring. 1 minus 1 is what? 0. Remember this one is 0, so bring down 0. And our answer is just 1, base 2. We can check it out and see. So the idea is that whatever you're boring has to be in the same, ba in the same base. Uh, that is the major idea. But if you have any question on these, again, you can still ask me. Um, 
um, I'm going to address that in another video. But let's move to base 3. Let's see. This is 2, 2, 1, base 3, minus 1, 1, 2, base 3. So if we make it bigger, we have 2, 2, 1, and 1, 1, 2, all in base 3. So if we subtract this, remember that 1 cannot subtract 2. So 1 has to borrow from these 2. And whatever is borrowing is based on the base. So he gives to him 3. So we're adding 3 to this 1 here. And 3 plus 1 is what? 4. Now do you know how I got 4? Remember that he borrows from this guy. This guy becomes 1. He gives to him 3. And if we add 3 to this 1, it becomes 4. So that means we'll have 4 minus 2 becomes what? 2. So now we have 1 here. Now 1 minus 1 um, is what? 0. Now let's check this last one. 2 minus 1 is what? 1. So naturally, it's only when it is not up to... Um, when you cannot subtract um, properly that you borrow. But if you can subtract properly, then you just subtract properly. Remember to add what you borrow to the value you're using to subtract. So basically, we got 1, 0, 2, base 3 when we subtracted this. If you still have questions, you can ask. But let's do one last one. That will be in base 5. So this is 4, 3, 2, base 5. Minus 2, 3, 3, base 5. Let's check it out. 4, 3, 2. Minus 2, 3, 3. You can try this out yourself and let's see what you get. Then we'll come back. 